Vicki, you're a communications expert. <laughs> There's probably a lot of reasons why is communication so challenging in a marriage? Mm. We'll take that one on. There's a lot of reasons. How about we do the top five? Sounds good. You good? Should we start with fifth? Yep, let's start. Number at the top. five. People are different. Ta-da! <laughs> yeah, right? This is good, actually. Differences create conflict. Mm -hmm. Anytime you do bring two different people together because they have different preferences or backgrounds or programming Perception. or gender or whatever, right? D differences. Differences are important to a relationship because differences give us the meaning to create the relationship in the first place. They make us relevant and interesting to each other. Mm -hmm. So we have to have differences, but that creates conflict as well. And that conflict often emerges in the communication patterns. Mm -hmm. And I would say that that's the number five reason. For why, conflict. Why communication is so challenging in a marriage. Reason number four. Language is tricky, you know. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Yeah, picking the right word, finding the right emphasis. But here's the thing that I think is so important to remember. I recently read a study that anywhere from 75 to 90% of all our communication is nonverbal. It's not even the words mm -hmm. we say. So mm -hmm. it's really easy to interpret it wrong, you know, because one little look, one little hand right. cross, one, you know, look away, maybe there's an eyelash, but it looks like you're, you're rolling your eyes at someone, there's so much that can be misinterpreted, you know? Right. And so it's, that makes it tricky. Sometimes communication is just hard because so much of what we're saying aren't the actual words. The inflections make a difference. Tone you of know, voice. We've done seminars before. Do you remember that phrase mm -hmm. that we have people repeat? The phrase is, I didn't tell her you were crazy. And if you emphasize different words, listen to that. I didn't tell her you were crazy. 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 <laughs> I didn't tell her you were crazy. I didn't tell her you were crazy. <laughs> I mean, you could change it so much by all of nonverbal. Yeah. You know, it's all nonverbal. So language yeah. is tricky. And just remember that sometimes it can be misinterpreted. When we react to something that we have received in a communication, we are reacting to our perception of it, not necessarily what was intended or sent to us. I've got a model that I share with couples all the time where there's the sender and the receiver and the communication travels from the sender to the receiver. But to get there, it has to go through encoding, a whole lot of noise, decoding. Yeah. And if message A is intended, Message B is what is heard. I'm going to respond over here to B, not A. And so, Vicki, when you and I communicate, I respond to what I think you said. Right. Not necessarily what you meant. Mm -hmm. That gets me in trouble all the time. <laughs> in the coaching that I do with couples, this number three, number three on our countdown is one of the most powerful strategies that I could possibly share with you. First, the reason. Okay, okay. Yeah, what's the reason? The reason why communication can be so complicated in a marriage is that we are committed to getting our point across. <laughs> Making sure they know what we're thinking. And in doing so, we, we overrun whatever it is that they're trying to do. Here's the strategy. Let me just slip this strategy in. Postpone your need to be understood long enough that your spouse is completely satisfied that you get their position, that you understand where they're coming from. This isn't easy to do. You know, I think a lot of times people are like, but, but I might forget what I wanted to say before then or the point <laughs> I wanted right. to make. Yeah. And the point to that is maybe if you did forget it, it wasn't as important as you thought in the first place. Oh, but we are so committed to yeah. it. We really want to make sure that they understand, right? <laughs> or we want to clear it up. I was talking to a couple yesterday about this where they really just wanted to make sure that they cleared the record, that they set the record straight, <laughs> right? Yep. And because they're so committed to that, they don't hear anything that, that their spouse is saying. 
mm-hmm. uh, and the communication just goes it's pull, pull off apart. of a cliff. The number two reason that communication can be so hard in a marriage is that there's just a lot of noise. Noise. Yeah, there's noise. Now remember, he, uh, Paul mentioned Blah, 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 blah. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. Usually noise. their children are, but it's sometimes big children. <laughs> no, so remember there's a sender and a receiver, and there's all this stuff that's happening in between. Now, right. that noise can be actual noise. Maybe the TV's on. Maybe um, you, you've you noticed people walking by, and so you keep missing the eye contact. You know, I do that. Sometimes I notice that I'm looking away. But there's also stuff inside your head. A lot of the times I'm assigning meaning to everything he's saying before he's finished even saying it. Right. You know, and I've she can that. tell me what I'm thinking. Yeah. It's like, wait, whoa. Yeah. I don't always recognize it as what I'm actually thinking. Yeah. But that's the <laughs> point because we have the noise. Vicki, when you said it could be physical noise in the environment, seriously, people, turn off the television. Right? Mm-hmm. If you're trying to have a conversation with a member of your family, why is the television blaring? I've been over to visit people before where they're trying to talk to me and the television is blaring. And it just, it blows my mind. Turn off the TV. Let's see if we can get the noise calmed down. And then you mentioned that some of it's internal. Mm -hmm. We can't get completely away from that. If you can at least acknowledge that it's there. And, And the strategy or the trick that we work on in our coaching is listen to understand. You're not listening to form your rebuttal, okay? You're simply trying to understand so that A equals A. So the sender and the receiver have exactly the same message. And that's a pretty good challenge. If you can accomplish that, you win. The number one reason, Vicki, that I think communication is challenging in a marriage. We've alluded to this and we've actually talked about it on other videos. We know that we're right. Mm -hmm. And that is probably the number one reason. It gets us stuck in this pattern of destructive pride where we're not really open to other people. I think if we humble ourselves a little bit, which means giving up our need to be right in exchange for being open, that enhances the communication tremendously. Our relationships really are the most important thing that we have. If there's anything we can do to support you and your relationship, we're just honored to be on your team. You might wanna start with a discovery call. Jump on a breakthrough call with one of our coaches, drpauljenkins.com forward slash breakthrough call. Let's get you talking to a member of our team and we'll find something that fits you and what you're looking for.